Hello. Hi, everyone. RV Debs here. It is Saturday night. Saturday. How's everybody? Come on in. I miss you all. <laughs> yeah, we've had a, I had a really good day today, I must admit. Okay, I admit it. I've got two pairs of glasses now. This is one of them. Aren't they cool? Nobody's here. I'm going to log off. <laughs> Hi, Roseanne. Thanks for coming in. I'm a little late tonight, but you know, think life has a way of moving quickly. So I'm a little late. How you doing? Hi, Mary. Come on in. Relax with me for a little while. It's Saturday. We need to do this. This is something we need. A chill hour. A chill hour. Butterbean had. Hello, sweet beanie. Sheila, nice to see you. And Doreen and Nana Mae. Hey, hey, hey. Nana Mae. I'm so glad you're here. I was a little late. I'm sorry. Hi, Linda Metcalf. Welcome, sweetie. Dana. Hello, hello. Hello. I love you. Won't you sing me my song? Hi, Mary. Hi, Alfonso. Good evening. I've had a very blessed day, I must say. I'll tell you all about it. Not that it's that great, but... Can you tell I have new glasses? I got them today. I got, these were from, from there, Zilu. And they are purple. Check it out. They're purple with glitter on the side. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Nancy. Good to see you. So these are one pair I got. I, I really love these. They're comfortable, perfect for seeing any way I want to see. And I like the color. They're dark, like an almost burgundy purple. And it worked out good. You love them? I love these too. I saw them on Facebook and TikTok. Um, they're called rods. And they come with this. Uh, they come in different colors. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> but on the side. If, I don't know if you can see good. I'm going to try to. Wait a minute, let me get it under control. Well, you really can't see, but it's like a little, it looks like diamonds, but it's glitter. So these were, the, these were the, these are the best ones. I got another pair. They were from Zenny. Zenny. And I also got this, which is really cool, but I didn't really need it. I didn't realize I put my sunglasses, but these turn dark. Hi, Timothy. These turn dark in the sun. So I'm thrilled I don't have to change them. And then the other pair was too small. Um, I'll keep them for a backup. I've learned now. Yes, I love it. I do. I love them. So these, these really fit me better. I didn't know how, I didn't know how to do it. It's not their fault. I could have picked a bigger size glasses, but I like the color, so I thought, oh, that's the color. So I have these also. They're not terrible, and they are usable, and they they work. But I like a bigger a bigger glass. What do you guys think? So it's a it's a different look. These are very, you know, very simple. Well, 
They're pretty too. They're cute. I wish they were a little bigger of a of a lens. But I, I do love that color. Oh, thank you for putting my Etsy shop up since I do have stuff for sale. Not a lot, but I have stuff. I do. Okay, so I've got those, but I really like the size of these. I've learned. You know, it's life is full of lessons, isn't it? <laughs> so this, let me put these away. But anyway, if, if I really want to, I can wear both. And the, and the price, I don't know about you, but I have spent a fortune on, on glasses. Just the gold rim frame, very plain glasses. I've spent at least $400. The last pair was just lenses and they were $700 in Abilene. Thank you, Roseanne. That's what I think. I can wear the, I wore the other ones. I got the turquoise ones first. And then the next day I got these. And these, these just feel more like me. But um, now, like these pair, I think it was $108 to the door. Wow. And the other ones too, they're right around the same price, maybe even a little less, $86. So now, you don't, you know, as long as you get your, your, optometrist to write down your, you know, your prescription, it's very easy to enjoy them. Hi, Denise. Really good deal. Like two, two pairs for 200, basically. And they came from different companies. I like both companies. They wrapped them really tight. It, they're, they're really, the lenses are beautiful. They come from China. China's just the way it is, you know. My neck. Uh, thank you for JJ for even remembering about my neck. My neck's been awful. Um, it's been really, really, really horrible at night sleeping. But, hi, gamer girl. Um, it's good to have friends. First of all, Darlene, who is, I don't know if she's here tonight, but Darlene gave me some of this stuff, which I put on. That helps. It really does. I mean, it's a menthol and it kind of goes into your skin. But the best thing is oh, Jim brought me over this. And this sucker, I'll tell you, I have never had anything so good. Hi, Cynthia. I'll turn it on. It's all digital and you charge it. And this goes up to 30. For my neck, that's eight. And that's almost too much. Oh. Hi, Dee Dee. Hi, Georgiana. Okay, so I, I won't I won't do it while I'm on here, but so I've been doing this on and off for a few hours with the other stuff, and it's not perfect, but it's better. It's much it is it's loosening up, and I'm I just ordered one of those because I want to give Jim back his. Jim, are you on here tonight? Um. And it's got all these attachments and it goes to 30. The power is, I can't even believe how much power I've never seen a, a massager that had that much or, um, it doesn't really say anything on it, but I bought it on Amazon. It looked like it. <laughs> and this is the, the box. Let me, let me and it's got a big bag of stuff that you can use and a charger. Okay. Get in there. Oh, 
Ah, anyway. That's all it says. Doesn't really have. It just shows you what to do with it. But I looked it up. Um, just the word um, massage gun, 30 speed massage gun. And wow. Holy coly. Holy moly. Thanks, Marilyn. Yeah, there you go. Hi, Connie. Nice to see you. Glad you made it today. Yeah, we're just talking about I my neck was it's it's definitely a pinched nerve. And if it's not better by really by Monday. Hi, Mary Cooper. Um, if it's not better by Monday, I will probably go to the doctor. But th um, the massager and the biofreeze has helped. I think I'll be okay. Yeah, I don't I have a heating pad which I use and I even put ice on it too. I mean, I've done whatever, you know, whatever you have to do to to loosen it up. But and it it, it just when I get to a certain spot, it's hard. Yeah, biofreeze. How often do you put it on? I'll put some more. It hurts. Right in there. Ah, feels good on there. Thanks, JJ. Yeah, well, you know, I'm happy because I have my new glasses. So that, you know how sometimes if you, your mind's occupied, your pain, you forget that you're in pain or you don't turn that way for a while. Hi, Swiss. I think it is similar to Icy Hot, but I'm not 100% sure it's the same. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm putting it on a lot and since I got it. Darlene brought it over for me. Because I was getting to the point where I, I was in, in so much pain that I needed to go to the doctor. And what are they going to do? They're going to give me a, a muscle relaxer probably. Or send me to a uh, chiropractor. It's really good stuff. Connie said it's better than um, than the Icy Hot. Biofreeze. Yeah, I recommend. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep baby in my neck and everything will be all right. So, I got my, my new glasses. Um, the weather's been pretty good. And I'm, I actually have the golf cart. I have a golf cart now. Um, yeah, so I'm using the golf cart. I got it today, and I'll use it for the weekend, thank goodness, because it makes the job a lot easier to check who's checked out, you know, driving around here. Yeah, uh, rollers, That's that feels good. Nicole, thank you for reminding me. Hi, Gretchen. Yeah, so um, I've been. It was a busy day, and I'm I'm glad. But last night, I got to tell you about last night. Well, I'll wait till you get back, okay? Let me know when you're back, Marilyn. Hi, honey. How are you? You used to have to go to the chiropractor to get it. wasn't sold in the stores for the longest time. Yeah, I I used to go to the chiropractor. Like this was getting to, like, oh no, I'm gonna need to do something. It's not fixed. The golf cart is got a motor coming and they're going to put it in. But I, I get to use an, another golf cart. Yeah. And Phantom would be very happy to rest and not have to go around 10 times half a mile. Nicole, feeling is mutual. Thank you for the thumbs up, you guys. I do appreciate it. Just a little thing you can do. You can do for me. I guess we're at, I'm good at this side. This side I can turn. I, uh, I don't think it's a real colorful sunset. 
I think it's over. It's done. In love with health, you did. You made it. Welcome. Hugs back, Nicole. You're sweet. Um, with your doggy friends, they're the best friends, aren't they? Hi, Mimi. I want a golf cart, but I don't think our little town would allow me to drive it all over. Probably not. We just drive it here. Hi, Barb. Hi, Sharon. Lily is fantastic. Okay, enjoy TV. All right, so yesterday at the clubhouse on Friday, normally we have like steak cookout, but this time it was National Grilled Cheese Sandwich. Hi, Megan. It was National Grilled Cheese Sandwich um, Day. So we had grilled cheese sandwiches made for everybody for $2 or whatever you wanted to give. And it came with, of course, creamy tomato soup. And some people had a couple of sides that they shared. It was delicious. And then we had a mariachi band. Now, I don't, I'm sure you all know what a mariachi band is, right? Yeah, it was a delicious, the, the grilled cheese sandwiches were great. Beth was, she must have made a hundred sandwiches. I had three, like they were triangles, like halves. I had three halves and there was sliced avocado and sliced tomato. And um, there was a berry um, cobbler for dessert. Then that sound, it was really a fun night. And the mariachi band blew everybody's mind. I got, I'm going to, this is going to be a sneak preview of my next video. But you guys, I'm going to let you hear and see a little bit of it. So yeah, it, like they blew our minds. First of all, there were, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, like six or seven, maybe seven guys, all dressed in their mariachi outfits that were really cool. They were all sizes. They were two huge guys. And they were like some smaller guys in the middle. It was like interesting, really fun. So um, let me, let me, I didn't do a lot of video of it because, well, I don't think, I don't know if I'm going to get copyright strikes, but. Oh, sorry. That was, that was them. Let's see. They did some English songs. They did uh, um, Stand By Me, and they did, um, let's see. But I loved I loved their music. Oh, this camera. Uh <laughs> fighting it. doing what am i doing wrong anyway 
way. <laughs> I did have a little naughtiness inside me last night. There was one guy. He played the violin. I guess that's the one. And he played that violin like real fast with his fingers. And I thought, whoa. <laughs> Bad. I'm a dirty old lady. I know. What's wrong with me? I'm freaking out because I can't seem to do anything without messing it up. Pretty good, huh? Pretty good, huh? Okay. That's that's what I... <sighs> no, I'm not dead yet. Did you get that? Hi, Beth. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Be careful. Anyway, that's what we did last night. And I actually stayed like I didn't usually I'm at these gatherings and I'm like, want to go home. But I was having such a good time and they were so talented and they're coming back uh, next season. We're going to have a margarita night and we're going to have these guys. They play at restaurants in town. I would go see them. That's how, how entertaining they were. Real strong voices. Girls, I'm not dead yet, no. I mean, I don't do anything, but I, my mind's thinking, you know? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that, right? Eye candy, baby. Um, What was for dinner tonight? I haven't had dinner tonight. I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich um, late afternoon, so for that, Hi, Margaret. Hi, Linda Roberts. Good to see you, Mimi. I have no idea what you're talking about, Deb. Yeah, right, Mimi. You know, young in spirit, I'm still a free spirit. I mean, I'm still the same person I was in my 30s and 40s and 50s. But my body doesn't work as well as it used to. I, I'll, I'll go with that for sure. But I get to meet a lot of different people in different places. Um, Eye candy being, you know, somebody who's entertaining right in front of you. They, they look gorgeous. They're eye candy. <sighs> yeah, the body doesn't really match the mind at all. You know. In my mind, I'm just really <laughs> not that not necessarily the mariachi guys, but yeah, I I it it just in general they were eye candy they were fun. Good night, Nicole. I can always look. Looks are free, and uh, like I said, you know, why not? Right. It's, it's fun. I mean, I'm a people watcher anyway. I love to, to you know, if I'm going to go to a gang of people, I'm going to watch people. Yes, everybody was legal age. Oh, good, Cynthia. I knew that you got it. 
Hot men are hot men. Now I go on Second Life, and you guys know I'm on Second Life. We still have eyes. When you're married, you can look if you want. It's touching. Well, yeah, but I'm not touching either. That's right. Yeah, the mariachi was a very cool band, Scott. They were good at it. I know you would love to hug me. And if I was with you, I'd give you a hug. Yeah, you can look at the menu, but don't be coming home with any or no takeout order, right? <laughs> well, I'm I am not married. S some Mexican men are well, like any like anything. Mexican, it's that's a you know, Mexican men can be very handsome for sure. Just like anybody. A hug at a goose. Oh no, no goose. Um, because I could find any kind of person attractive depending on you know what they look like doesn't matter yeah handsome is handsome come here you want to say hello to everybody come on i can't look this way very easy lily come on come ah oh, can't beg you Window shopping. Yeah, so I go on Second Life, and I'm gorgeous on Second Life, okay? My avatar is, she's an 11. And it's me inside the avatar, so, okay, come here. Come here, baby. Come here. Come on. Every time I want to pick her up, she goes away. Hi, Elizabeth. Um, Beth's the, the eclipse for us down here, unfortunately, of course, normally every day is sunny and bright. And to that day we had clouds. Yeah. Cloudy, cloudy. So we didn't really see it live, but I saw it on TV and it looked really good. It's, and uh, Amanda, who I think she's hiding out, lurking, she saw it really good uh, in, in her area. That's cool. Yeah, lucky people got to see it really good. And every day here, it's so bright and sunny, right? It was so overcast and the clouds were just... Um, Jim saw it, maybe he said, because I wasn't outside all the time. <laughs> but he said he saw a little bit because we were supposed to get like 93%, but I didn't see it. There's Amanda. Yeah, I was saying you shared some pictures your your kids took, um, and they were beautiful. You got the whole the whole. They saw it. They saw as total as you got. It was pretty interesting too. Oh, yeah, Illinois. So you got to see it, too. Yeah, I think we were at 93% down here. I don't know. I just didn't see it. She said it was spectacular to see. Yeah, it looked really... And I loved watching it. Unfortunately, didn't get it, get it in person. Yeah, and it got kind of like... It did look, at one in the afternoon, it looked like it was maybe 9 o'clock, 8.30, you know, like it was going to start getting dark. The total eclipse of the heart. And then there were some channels on YouTube that when the sun started coming, they played, here comes the sun, doo -doo -doo -doo. here comes the sun. I say, it's all right. So that was cool. Yeah, I saw a lot of, I saw like actual eclipse on like my big TV. Enjoyed all of it. Really did. Hallelujah. Because the next one's going to be in 44 years or something. Or 2044. That's what they said. Not sure I'll be here. That's the thing. Who knows? Yeah. 
Yeah, the total darkness. Well, it didn't get totally dark here, unfortunately. But it did get, it looked nightish, nightish. <coughs> Amanda said all her neighbors were out. And the difference, difference in temperature when it got dark was like, wow, it cooled down. Yeah, well, that was, that was cool. I was, you're lucky that you got to see it so good. Dang it. Was it trip, man? Was it far out? It was far, far out. Yes, so I get to see these really nice bodies that the avatars, because on a, the avatars on Second Life are really, like, really good. Real, 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 real good. Oh, neat, Michelle. She got 100% totality. That's just so fortunate. I can show you my avatar. I, I think I have, I mean, I did, I think I showed it to you once. Let's see. I changed the head. <laughs> Isn't that funny that you can change the head? Okay. Oops. It's hard to see it really close. This one's a little closer. Window to my life. Welcome. Welcome back, Sandra. The roosters were confused. Yeah, of course. So the guys look as good as the girls, you know what I mean? Like it, and they have a lot. Of, it's funny on Second Life because in real life, I don't mind a tattoo or so, but these guys on Second Life, they have like covered in tattoos, muscles and six packs or eight packs and maybe earrings. And maybe they, uh, they look like bad boys. And when you look at them, you know, and somebody's behind that avatar that put that time and effort to, you know, be what they look like. And uh, it, it's, I'm a real, I'm a real avatar snob. So, no, 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 Timothy. <laughs> There's all kinds of weird things on. I don't know about that, though. Female heads on a male body. It doesn't work like that. But you could design um, a woman's body and give her a penis. But she's going to have to have a... If It wouldn't work like that. Who wants to have that? You know, you would think that, but but anyway, it's fun to watch the different and the different outfits. Like if you go to a formal place and how somebody puts them their 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 tux on. Hi there, Tart. Welcome. How would anyone what's know what's under the clothes? You you wear panties and you don't need a bra because your boobs are perfect. I'm really, I'm really pretty. I love my new avatars. Uh, I've always had this, the same figure, but I've got a new head. I used, and I like my old head too, but this, this is more realistic, I think. And I even have freckles, freckles and red hair and green eyes. I have green eyes. That's the only thing that's real is I've got green eyes. Timothy, explain that, please. I know you must be joking. I think most people make their avatars according to their alter ego or what they would 
like to pretend. It's a fantasy world. It is totally a fantasy. And um, yes, yeah, some people will make themselves look old and like they really look in real life. And that's up to them. But, you know, I don't do that. Timothy needs to explain why he'd want that because I don't understand. Do women try to take your male friend on Second Life? No. And if they can take him, they can have him. <laughs> if he's easily taken, who needs him? But we go dancing and, you know, if you have formals, you wear beautiful gowns and you can earrings and face makeup and um, guys, they have to dress nice too. So, you know, there's lots to choose from. I don't understand what you're trying to say, Timothy, but I know that you say it just to get a reaction. Gray hair wrinkles in a young, tight body. Anyway, on Second Life, most people have, you know, there are there are people that make their avatars with big asses and stomachs. Uh, some guys have bald. If they, and then some people have, you know, like crazy looks. But mostly people try to look good. I have, um, I do have a home. I have a um, houseboat. I have a houseboat. I've had it for a couple of years and I, you know, furnished it nicely and I've got a little boat outside and uh, I live on the water This that, because that's where I would want to live. The houseboat reminds me kind of of my RV, only it's bigger. Yeah, yeah, I do. I have a home. That's my home. I have a friend that just showed me his home and he had this Arizona huge um like a, a, a ranch. That's on my bucket list too, Sandra. No, I don't work on Second Life. No. But there are people that do some, there's DJs that make tips and they make some good money. Um, The money that is made on, they're called Lindens. And it, that's the money. But, um, so a thousand lindens would be like five dollars. It's kind of a hobby. You can go ice skating. You can go surfing. They have a lot of really interesting uh, people that have made all the different countries. So you can visit countries. What are the costs? Um, yeah, give give me a thumbs up and I'll tell you more. <laughs> you saw me surf? <coughs> really? Actually, when I'm surfing on Second Life, I know how to surf. And as you go through the curl... I can flip myself around and land right on my feet again. I don't fall. And if you do fall, you, you, you just, you never die on second life. Yep. Nude surfing. You can go nude surfing certain places. You have to be on an adult sim for nude anything. And, and there's like places that, you know, where you can go to Mount Everest, you can go to Paris uh, you can go to Italy, places in Italy. People have made beautiful sims and buildings, and it's kind of fun. I played it one night. Maybe I did a while ago. I have fun. I don't, you know, sometimes I'll skip a night or two, but mostly I go because I have friends there just like I have you. I'll go and, and talk with I've got my friend Dark, and uh, his name is Doug. And um, I have another guy named Max that's my friend. I have a girlfriend, uh, Cameo, who has a YouTube channel. And she's on Second Life, and her name is Silver. 
And she looks gorgeous, too. So, yeah. And you can play games. I play uh, hand and foot. Nope. Nobody dies. They, you know, crash. <laughs> they crash and come back. But, like, you can fly airplanes. I don't, I mean, I don't do airplanes, but I have a new friend, Max, and he... He flies like he literally there's an airport and they, they do flight and he has the controls. And yeah, it's a lot. It's a learning. That's part of the game. It isn't just, oh, you know, I look good. And it's a game. If you want to find adventure and horseback riding and and some people are motorcyclists and some people ride dune buggies and, and airplanes and boats, there's the Black Sea. So yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty cool, and uh, the game is you know how how well can you maneuver yourself and make yourself look really good because you know my one friend's been on there seventeen years. Yeah, newbies, the newbies, it's hard for them to get going. Hi, Tanya. What Lily? There and most of the people are are older people. I don't think there's too many really young people on Second Life. The the average, you ask someone their age and they're like 59, 65, 48. You know, I mean I you don't see you don't see too many people, at least I haven't. It's just like real world, only it's your fantasies and you can you can be teleported anywhere real fast you can leave in a heartbeat um you know you you can do everything that you can't do in real life you cannot run and jump and i can't do any of that stuff so yeah it's a place to uh you know explore and do things and it can be sexual in nature and it can be games and it can be family people actually get married and have babies and have a home and they you know Brothers and cousins. I don't, I've never done that. Everybody has their own. There are RVs in Second Life. There's actually trailer parks. You can actually rent, you know, a trailer or an RV. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, all that stuff's possible. Because you can make anything. Come here. Oh, look who wants to be talked to. Look who came and got caught. Caught you. Caught you, caught you, caught you. Let me give her some space. It is Honestly, it's fun. I have a good time. I'm an artistic kind of person. And I really can appreciate other people. And I love to go to these clubs and they have DJs that play really good music. And you can dance like you've never danced before. There's these menus and you click them and you can dance alone. You can dance with somebody. Somebody asks you to dance. They can send you a message and say, would you care to dance? Or you look really pretty. Are you alone? Just like in real life. Um, you No, you can't go on Second Life. You, I think there is a phone app where you can see your messages. But you can't, like, your graphics wouldn't be enough. You just go to secondlife.com, read it. See, it doesn't cost any money to try it. Yeah, you're a newbie, and it is a beginning, and the beginning is not easy. Any really good game, you know, is going to take some time to get into and figure it out and how to move. How to, how, to, how to walk. What do you want to invest a little money? I mean, you're going to have to invest for a really good body. Figure 20 bucks uh, in, in cash. Like a head in Linden's, depending on which head you, you purchase, um, is like 39, 3,500 Linden's. And the body might be the same. And then you want to like 
get clothes and you want to, you know, you actually have to even buy skin, but usually the, the body will come with skin. <laughs> I know it's weird because you don't know really how, well, how that works, but the way it's come, it's not really AI because it's real people. You can have any name you want. You can change your name if you want to. And then uh, if you read a profile, it tells you the day their birth. It's the day that they joined is your day of birth. I'm glad you're here too, Scott. Hey, Erica, welcome. We're just talking about Second Life, which is a, a game that you can join and, and check out. But once you get into it, you will want to make your avatar look good. That's just, and you may need help and you might have to ask for help. And there are people in places that you can get help getting it together. That's, there's people that do that. I'd help too, but it's, it's a learning process. Any name you want. Um, my name on there is Calistia Rossini. I don't know. I picked Rossini for some reason back when I started and it's, it's just stuck. And you can talk to somebody in message back and forth. And then if you like the person, you can friend them. And then whenever they're online, their name will pop up on your list and, and they can send you a message and you can get to know somebody or you can even talk Lily you're in my way. You can talk live. You can actually call the other person. There's a little phone and you can speak like I'm speaking. Yeah, you need a good computer. You need a good laptop that's strong. Yeah, probably Timothy, because I don't get I don't get your, you know, I don't get what you were trying to say you would do. Yuck. Why would you want that name? And there's people from all over the world. Like literally all over the world. I've talked to people from India, you know, England, of course, Australia, France, you name it. They're from everywhere. What do you mean I have some people on my channel tonight? I don't get, I don't understand. Interesting. It is. Oh, you know me. I get into all kinds of different things. I know you're a person. There are a few new people. I hope so. And if they are here and they're new, I hope they do subscribe. Yeah, you're a robot. You're an AI, right, Amanda? Lily, are you bothering me? Because you are. Come here. Come, turn around. Put your front over here. You're bothering me that way. I don't like it that way. I don't like it that way. Ugh. I do good to get in. They have Mahjong and stuff like that that you could play. You don't have to play with anybody. Come on, Lily. I'm going to put you on the floor. Well, don't bring us down, Tanya. I don't want to hear. That's why I don't watch the news. As you, you to change the format you see on your screen. I can't find the button anymore. I hate when that changed. I'm not sure what button you're talking about, actually. I'm sorry. I'm just not into being brought down. I'm trying to stay happy. Try to smile. You know, I mean, you can get heavy any minute. Any minute. I don't want to. I used to be on Pogo. I used to, I love games and stuff. Life is short, Anne, and, and, and Tanya's a teenager, 
who needs to be in a happy spot, not reading the news, you know, it's nighttime. It's time to, well, it's not nighttime for her probably. I used to play Pogo. I, I don't remember what happened to that program. Okay, hold on a minute. <coughs> oh, man. Anyway, I can't type with beans. I don't mean to be rude or nothing, but you know, um, it's hard enough to be in a good mood and talk and, and, and be happy. And then when someone comes in and says something terrible is going down in the world and someone died and ugh. no like button. Oh, okay. See what you mean. Anyway, I have about 10 minutes left. If you guys want to talk about a subject, let me know. Or if you have a question. Right now, it's windy in Texas if you're talking about the weather, which we didn't do today. Right now it's 75 degrees. Small homes, I have a small home. Tomorrow's high of 91, low of 72. So it's gonna be, it's not It's not a, a real ah, thing. Not real cool. Oh, this is just. I just completely turned, I have a touch screen. Ah, oh, that was, that took a long time. How do you make chicken salad? Chicken, mayonnaise, cut up celery and onion, maybe some sour cream, salt and pepper, garlic. I saw a trike on Sarasota Tim's channel today. I sent you the link in the comment section on Wednesday night, Wednesday night's show. Oh, thanks, Gretchen. I'll check it out. What, holy, what comes? Hi, Sandra D. You ever hear from your friend in Philly? My friend near Philly? You mean Bill? Yes, I do hear from Bill. Just found your channel. Wanted to stop and say, well, thank you. Big family. You hit the subscribe button. I do live streams and I keep them positive between on Wednesdays and on Saturdays at 730 Central Time. And I do put out videos. So, and I've got a million videos. I'm, I have 1600 videos in my playlists. That's a lot. But sometimes I, you know, sometimes I get into making jewelry. Sometimes I'm painting. Sometimes I travel. Sometimes I don't do much. It's just a little bit of my life. That's all I'm sharing. Yeah, Bill comes all the time. I mean, you know, he might be busy tonight. And we keep in touch. I, I mean, we'll message each other from time to time. I really love Bill. He's a dear friend. 
I have made some very, very good close friends here on, on YouTube. It's a great, this is a great spot, don't you think? So I got my new glasses, you guys. Liking them, liking them. That made me happy today. I miss friends. I've lost a lot of friends. Yeah, it's a pretty stress-free channel, you know? Thanks, Sandra. Hey, I love them. They're, and they're so comfortable and they were cheap. Yeah, I try to keep a positive attitude. I mean, sometimes I say the wrong thing. I'm only human. I didn't mean to snap at Tanya. I think she's probably mad at me. But, you know, when you come into someone's chat and they're talking to happy, you know, happy things and what, that's all. It, it Just try not to bring in, it's, it's not good to do that. I'm glad you found my channel too, Mimi. Honestly, we got along instantly. Instant friends. We're all here to have a good time. At least I think so. Just have, you know, there's a lot of channels that talk about the news and what's going on and politics, and religions and stuff. There really is. I personally despise talking about that stuff. So, you know, I don't mean to, I just like to keep it a certain way because we all, we all go through pain, suffering and loss and, and all those things that we go through. And here's a good place to talk about loss and how to get, how to get through it, how to get um, your, how to keep your life in a positive way, because you can get bummed out because there's a lot of things that go on in our lives. I mean, Tanya, you're a young girl. By the time you're in your 50s, 60s, or 70s, or whatever, you have been either hurt, you've been hurt, you've been, you've lost someone you love, many people. Yeah, I'm a pro at loss too. And I think, you know, you don't get over it. You really don't get over it because you always remember how much you love someone is how much you really grieve for them. But you don't get over it, but you get through it day at a time. And that's that's what it's about. Sharing sharing those kind of things on the channel is welcome. Fifteen subs away. Well, Scott, tell us what your channel is about. And put your channel name right here in the side, and let's get those 15 subs for you. You do, you create a new life. You know, when, when my husband died, uh, my whole life was going to go through, and it did, a complete, a complete change of what I thought. Everything I was planning and thinking and praying for and wanting and needing included my partner and it got you know hi scott and it got taken away and it was hard and there's nothing easy there's nothing easy about it and it's okay to feel and be sad um but you have to start you have to eventually pick yourself up and live and and think about you're living for the ones that that are no longer living. They would want you to pick yourself up and find some new interests and go out there and do stuff. Hey. Scott said it's a channel about me and my and, and me in the north and my holidays. And I love stuff like that. I do love to see what people are about. So we're going to get you 15 more subs tonight. And then you can monetize. And that's, you know, it's nothing wrong with trying to make a little income on the efforts that we do here. And it is effort, but it's good effort. Yeah, definitely. Scott, too, has a channel. And he talks about his life up in Canada, teaching and things. And, and uh, in, in the indigenous, I think that would you say, people. 
would love to see more closer to your chest. Why, Alfonso? I don't get it. Like this chest? <laughs> Funny. See, before you know it, Scott, you're going to have more than 15. Big family. Up. I'm so sorry to hear about your husband. I can't imagine I love that you're positive channel and you do your channel the way you want. Thank you. Well, you're very welcome here. And yeah, you know, I've been on the channel. I've had my channel since my husband died. It's been like eight years. Thank you, Anne, for the super chat. I appreciate it and need it and love you for it. Um, that's very cool. Yeah, Scott's in North Canada. Yeah, it, 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 and so I started my channel eight years ago. Um, I lived in Florida, and my husband and I had a mobile home on Lake Tarpon, which is a beautiful area, and I loved it. And when he when he passed away, my very best friend in the world, Kathy, and her husband Mark, they moved. They were they had a plan to move to Texas to be close to their two. She has two sons. And um, that's how I got to Texas. But anyway, long story short, on my channel, in my playlists, you can kind of, and it helps me out a lot, okay? If you go to the playlist and you see the beginning, just even if you just do like four or five of the beginning ones, and then maybe you go to another playlist. I do reviews on products. I went to, I went to Florida for... Uh, like I was in Texas and I got to go to Florida. I did another videos on Florida. Thanks, Connie. Yeah, my husband was very handsome. I was lucky. I, mean, I wish I had him longer. Where is it? I'll show you. I have a little book here. These are some of my favorite pictures of him. That's Mark, my husband, looking at me. And that's another picture of in our backyard. Sweet. Those were the days, my friend. We thought they'd never end. Yeah, he got uh, cancer, um, multiple myeloma. He had, in 2010, some spine surgery because he had fallen and it messed up his spine. And then after they did that spine, um, he died four years later, pretty much. And we didn't know he was sick with that. He got his legs swelled up in February. Like, I think it was like the 17th of February. His legs swelled up really big, just one. Took him to the emergency room. And um, they took an ultrasound. And it wasn't a blood clot. And what it was was cancer. And he, they told us to go to his doctor. And as soon as he went to the doctor, they said, um, we need to admit you and rule and rule out malignancy and that was like the first time we heard that word so yeah he died in may so february the middle of february to may he died may 6th that's us on our honeymoon yeah and our, our honey, he died May 6th, and our um, wedding anniversary was May 7th. Yeah, it was fast, Cynthia. I mean, before I knew it, we were, he was admitted on chemo. Um, they, they 
they had to do surgery and to relieve the the swollen I mean we went through a lot and I share it I, I share it it's sad and this is the time of year especially May the beginning of May because I was he, he died on May 6th we were married May 7th his birthday was May 12th and my my mother died May 29th You know, I try to keep a positive attitude because I'm left. I'm left. I need to, I'm not going to fold up and die over it. But I tell you the truth, it's not easy. That's very cool, big family. I'd love to, to join your channel and watch it. May, May, April, April 8th, my sister and my dad passed away. Years between each other, but the same day. I got through that day. And now I'm going to get through May 6th and 7th. So here, you know, here I am. A strong, surviving woman. I know that was the eclipse. Isn't that something? There's nothing easy in life. Thank you, Donna. Because there really is nothing easy in life. We have to go through it. You're not gonna get over it. You don't just like I hate when people do that. Oh, you you've been a you've been a widow for 10 years. Get over it. Doesn't matter how long it is, you know. Yes, Anne, I've had girlfriends recently. I have a really good friend named Bonnie Lou. She was so healthy. She was a like a vegan and she was always hiking in the mountains with her husband. Very healthy lady. And she died of pancreatic cancer. We are women and we hear us roar. So for those of you who are suffering from loss, it's okay. It's like waves, especially when it's in the beginning. It's very hard for quite a while but as time time it does heal it does make things better and easier and i am okay now i just i wish i had him because we we had a good marriage a lot of people should get divorced that that live with someone they don't even like it's exactly true butterbean she says when you when you love, it leaves an imprint on your heart. You can never, ever get over it. Not, not, and nor would you want to. No, right. Yeah, change the subject. Get out of, you know, go do something that, you you know, makes you happy. The, the more you love, the harder the grief is. And I really, you know, I've, I've lost everybody. But I have tried to replace a lot of it with other things like Second Life, like YouTube, like RV Resort that I work at, like traveling, keeping my friends alive and happy and talking to them. Even the men that I meet on Second Life tell me that I'm not your average girl. And I'm not. I'm not. Getting into crafting, doing something that you feel like doing is really good. You can borrow my golf cart if you, um, you know, get here. Actually, it's not my golf cart, so I shouldn't say that. I'm borrowing the golf cart. Me and Lily, was we were in it today, didn't we, Lily? She's right here laying in front of me. Well, you guys, it's been a pleasure sharing with you tonight. I hope you guys come back on Wednesday when I do this again. I'll try to put a, a video out before then. And um, I work tomorrow. No, you don't need a driver's license for a golf cart. But you can't go in the street. You can. I can go to Dollar General from here because it's like a little, it's like got a golf cart path.
Oh, I love you all too. And I, you know I do. Thanks for coming to my visit. I didn't really have much planned other than to share what I'm doing. But I sure hope you come back and I'll see you on Wednesday. If you haven't done it, give me a thumbs up. Go back and watch some of the videos that I've put out in the years on my playlists. Just hit my name, click, and it takes you to the homepage. Thank you, guys. See you soon. Peace out. Be kind.